Today, my name is Johan Kim from Arriba, South Africa, and today I want to demonstrate the procedure for cleaning your Sigma Pro filter when the filter is excessively dirty. Before you open the filter vessel, you, may, you need to make sure that your pressure inside the filter is zero or close to zero. By checking on your gauge, you see that the needle is on zero, and that indicates that there's no pressure in your filter. And then after that, you need to make sure that your filter vessel is drained and there's a little drain valve at the bottom of the filter that you can open to drain the filter vessel. The filter, you can now start to release the top clamps from the filter by using your provided spanner. So loosen, the, loosen the big nut. Remove the big 12 millimeter hydraulic pipe from the back and release the back clamp and the front clamp. <coughs> now you can remove the lid from the filter body. What you now have is the a bridge assembly with the five turbines and your upper plate. So to remove the bridge assembly from the upper plate, you need to release the, the locks on the turbines by just pulling back on them and just lifting up the bridge assembly. Now you lift with your five uh, rotors and your turbines, sorry, your turbines and your upper plate. Just lift up, hold your hand um, underneath the turbine and just pull up, like this. Okay, the five turbines are released from the filter. And now, remove the upper plate from the body of the filter by inserting your tool provided and using your, the sharp edge of your tool and just lifting the plate out of the body. It takes a bit of time and um, effort, but you do get it right. And now it's this. <coughs> Now what's left are the screens and the scanners. So in order for you to remove the scanner, just pull it up and you will see that there's a scanner with nozzles on it and a screen left in there. So I'm just going to demonstrate only the one screen removal. Just wiggle it and just pull it up. Okay, so after the removal of all the screens from the filter, you need to take it to uh, your place, your workshop, where you can clean it with a high pressure cleaner. Um, from the outside, usually we, we spray a chemical on the, on the screen to loosen the dirt, but you can just, might as well just do it with high pressure cleaner. So after you make sure that your screens are thoroughly cleaned, um, you can bring it back to your filter for reassembly. Now you've brought your screens, your clean screens back, and as you can see for the demonstration purposes, I've already installed the five, four screens that are here with the scanners. But for the training video, I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble it physically. So what you do is before you install your screens back into your filter, you will see that there's an o-ring at the bottom and the top. And uh, what's wise is to lubricate this with a silicone-based lubricant that will make your life much easier. So this is lubricated and I'm going to just put the screen back and just push down on it until I feel that it's seated. Very important, it must be seated right to the bottom. Then take your scanner, make sure that the nozzles are on there and, and it's clean. Insert the scanner into the screen. Right in the center of the, sc of the screen are a center hole. 
and that scanner, the long nip at the bottom of the scanner, should be right in the center. I don't know if you can see the, the hole in the center, but anyway, there is a hole in the center of, of the screen right down at the bottom where that long nip should pass through, otherwise the scanner won't turn. Now you can see that the scanner are turning and it's loose. Okay, you've done that, now you need to replace or refit your upper plate by just fitting it over the scanners. Pushing down on the upper plate until it fits snugly into the body. If you do that, at the bottom of this upper plate there is also an o-ring similar to this. Lubricate all the o-rings. I haven't done that, but for demonstration purposes I haven't done that, but please lubricate the o-ring. Right, now you need to replace the five turbines. You'll see that there's four notches inside of the turbine and that locates on the four slots of the scanners just push down not too firm just so you can feel that it's it's snug fit once you've done that just make sure that by turning all the five turbines that everyone is turning freely. That is very important. If it's not turning freely, then your scanner is not in the center of the screen. Once your turbines are placed on top of the scanners, you need to replace the bridge assembly. Just make sure that it fits onto the slots. And by pulling up on the rotor and pushing the lock in, you will see that it's now locked. Now I'm locking all the rotors to the, to the bridge assembly. Okay, now once again, check that all your rotors are spinning free. Pull up, everybody is connected as you can see. Right, that's your check to see that all the rotors are connected. Then, replace the lid onto the body. By just pushing down the lid onto the body making sure that it goes down all the way okay now it's replaced then replace your clamps refit your clamps back clamp fitted front clamp Tighten the nuts on the clamps until it's tight. The last thing you need to do is to connect your hydraulic control tube, the 12 volt tube at the back, and just inserting it over the fitting and locking the nut. And now your filter is reassembled. Last thing is you should turn the, the little um, valve, the drain valve to close so that your filter can fill up with water again.